Today I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized travel map and you'll never guess what it's going to cost you. It's going to be free. Our personalized travel map is full of locations. These locations include places we've been since we started RVing, places that we vacationed before we started RVing, and of course places we've been thanks to the good old U.S. Navy. So our map is full of awesome locations we've been and I love doing it because it reminds me of all the great places we've been together. Now you can make your own travel map too. It's really simple. To get started making your map the first thing you're going to do is go to google.com and when you go there make sure you're logged into Google and in order for you to know for sure is you're going to look up in this right hand corner and see if you see your login icon. You can see my picture there. Yours might be an initial but make sure that's there because if you're not logged in, it's not going to save your map. So I don't want you to do all the work of putting in your coordinates and your locations and then when you get out, it just totally go away. So we are going to click on to the little um, square with the nine little dots and we're going to click the maps. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the three little um, lines on the left side of the search bar. So you're going to click that. So you want to go down and click on your places and that's going to bring you here and then you can see here the last one over is maps click that let's go down to create map now you cannot create a map on your phone and I'm not sure if you can create it on an iPad but you definitely can't on your phone so if you can't find the create map on the device you're using you may want to switch to another device so you can see here this is the beginning of our map we don't have anything on it yet so the first thing you can do is change the title of your map. So we will change this to demo. And then you can put a description if you want. We'll call this one YouTube demo. And then you can save it. We're just gonna start putting in locations and show you how it's done. Let's do McDill Air Force Base because we were just there. And you'll see this will come up and we are gonna tell it right here to add it to our map. So we're gonna add it to the map. And then we're going to change the icon and you can change this to whatever you want. So I'm going to hit the paint bucket and it's a base. So for the bases, I usually make ours dark blue. So let's change it to dark blue. Now I'm also going to change the icon. So at a glance, I'll know what it is. And since it's the Air Force, why don't we use an airplane? So I'm going to click the airplane and then OK. And you can see here it has changed the icon for this location. Just X out of this when you're done with it. Another great thing about this is you can totally put whatever you want with this. So for this place, let's say we started out dry camping and it was $12 a night. And you can put full hookups. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was 20 bucks a night. So, and then you can save it. So again, you can put whatever notes you want in here. You can even upload a picture to this if you like. Let's see if we can find one just so you can see what it's going to look like. So we're going to hit the save button to save the picture. And now every time you click on this location, you will see your picture. All right, so we're going to add another location. So let's add the Tallahassee Automobile Museum because we stayed there overnight as a boondockers welcome. So again, I'm going to click add it to map. I'm going to change the color. So boondockers welcome, their icon is green and yellow. So I'm going to make this one yellow. And let's go to our icons. And this one was a museum. And I'm going to use the museum icon, hit OK, and you can see it saved it. And again, I'm going to X out of this, hit my pencil here, and put a note here. So this is a boondockers welcome. And then you could put anything else you wanted to stay here. So it was on grass, and there was a great restaurant across the street. and correct my spelling here, and there you go, it's saved. Now the great thing about this 
is you can actually do layers. So one of the ways I've created my map is I put layers for one layer for our RV travels, one layer for military travels, and then I also have our RV travel separated by year. And the way you do that is you add layers. So let's go ahead and title this layer. We'll tie this one RV 2020. And then we will save this. If you wanted to add the locations you visited in 2019, you could do that simply by adding a layer. And then we will call this layer RV 2019. So we're going to add some location to our 2019 layer. So let's put a campground because you can have specifics. Remember it's Google Maps. So if there's an address, you can be very specific in location. So we stayed at Grayton Beach and it was awesome. Um, so let's pick Grayton Beach State Park and we're going to add it to the map. And let's change our color. Usually my state parks are green. And we'll change the icon. And for the state park, let's use a tree. And it's Florida, so let's use the palm tree. So we'll use that for our state parks. I'm going to X out of this. And then I'm going to put full hookups. And this was a great price, but I don't exactly remember how much it was, so I'm just going to make this up. 20 bucks a night on the beach. And that will add, as you can see here, to our other layer. Now, let me pull back on this so you can see these icons all together. So you can see these three icons. Now, I can simply uncheck, and it will take off 2019, or I can recheck and take off 2000 or 2020. So let's go ahead and add one more location. Let's add Devil's Den. And I don't know if you've been to Devil's Den, but it is pretty amazing. I do have a video on that. It's one of our early days video, but we had a blast there. So if you get to Florida, it's somewhere you have to stop and check out. And I'll put the link below for it. But we're going to add this location to map to the map. And let's go ahead. We'll change the color. This one, um, I don't know, we'll just make it, I want to make it a color you can see, and let's change the icons. Let's make it, all right, so we'll do swimming, because you can swim in Devil's Den. It's very cool. It's an underwater spring in a cave, and X out of these. And then I just want to show you, you can see the location on here. Let's blow up the map for you. Just wanted to show you if you accidentally put on a location and you can see here it went to RV 2020 and you wanted it to go to 2019, all you have to do is click on it and drag it down and you can put it right here. So don't think you have to delete it and redo the whole thing. It's very easy to move to a new layer. You can also do a layer of locations you want to go. So how about your bucket list locations? This is a great way to save your bucket list locations. And the reason is because you can come into this map and just take a look at it. Say you are headed to Texas. You can pop right in there, look at your map, figure out your route that you're planning without going to a notepad. You know, you have your list written down in old school notepad, like I call it. And then you're trying to figure out the locations on the map and see if the route will work for you. This way, you put it right on here and see it in an instant. So that is another great way to use this map. So let's go ahead and add one. We're going to add, let's add SeaWorld, San Antonio. So say that was on your bucket list. So we can add it to the map. Again, you can make it whatever color you want. SeaWorld, let's make it, we'll make it blue. Keep it the same color and then we'll see if they have any fish. They do, so we'll add the fish. And then you can see here, I have another icon here, and this is the place that I really want to go. And you can see it here on the map. And then if I just want to show the places I've been, I can take that off. Once you are finished with your map, you can preview it. See this button here? You can preview it. So I hit preview. We're going to dismiss this. It's telling me what mode we're looking at it in. Click your three little dots here, and then you can collapse your map legend. So here's your map. And these are all your locations. So let's go back to finish editing our um, map. You can see it here. 
One of the features I like about Google Maps is you can share your map. So you can change your private. You can change that to anyone with a link and we'll save that. And what this enables you to do is if you send someone this link, say I've sent the link to Phil, he can help me fill this in or he can check out all the places I've been to. So let's cancel this and we are done. Another thing you can do with Google Maps is actually plan where you want to go. So I'm going to take you out of this map. So let's get out. So I'm going to hit the back button and then we are going to actually create a new map. I'm going to show you a really cool way to use Google Maps. This is more than just a travel map. This can be your travel planner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this Tampa. As you know, we were recently in Tampa and if you want to do research on a city you're going to, this is the perfect place to do it because you can save everywhere you want to go while you're in that city. And then once you get there, you can carry it around with you on your phone. So I'm going to punch in a few places that we went to while we were in Tampa. So let's start with Three Daughters Brewing. And we're going to add this to our map. And you can make it whatever color. Let's add, make it a beer. and it is now on the map and I'm going to change this layer to restaurants and then I'm going to add another layer so this layer is going to be called attractions you can add in anything you've researched ahead of time before you get to to Tampa that you actually want to go check out while you're there so let me add a couple more we also went to the what Thai temple I am not sure if I said that correctly. And I'm going to add this to the map under attractions. And I'm just going to leave the icon as is for time for now. And we went to the armature works and add to map. And this was actually a bunch of restaurants. So I'm dragging that one back up. And then we went to, uh, let's do the Tampa Riverwalk. We'll add that to map. And of course, the Manatee Viewing Center, which was really awesome. And we'll add that to map. And I'm going to drag that one down because that one is actually an attraction. These are my icons for places I have researched in Tampa. And the great thing about it is you can share this map. And Phil and I can work on restaurants, attractions, wherever we want to go in a location. And we can both add them to this map with this share feature. So you change that to anyone with the link. You save it. You give Phil the link. And as he's researching the area, he can add things too. Of course, the best thing about creating the map in Google Maps is you have it with you every time you go somewhere. So let's pull it up on our phone. So I'm going to the Google Map icon. And then I'm going to hit the three little bars in the top left corner on the search bar. And then you can go down to your places. It's the very first option. And then scroll over to Maps. Click Maps. A list of all the maps that you've created is going to come up. So you can click on your map and then go to your icon of a restaurant or an attraction you want to go to, click on it and then hit directions and it's going to take you right where you want to go. I really love that because it's all right here. You don't need a paper and pencil. You don't need to write it all down and worry about directions and all of that. And you can click on this. It's going to give you the hours. It's going to give you everything you need to get to wherever you guys wanted to go. So that is a great feature. All right, so let's go back to the computer, and I'm going to show you another way to pull this up. Now, if you want to go to see all of your maps at the same time, so if you type in Google My Maps, hit the Google My Maps tab, and these will show you all of the maps that you have available to you. Now, these are my owned. I can hit all, and all the maps will come up. And these are all the ones that I'm allowed to look at. And you can see our epic field trip 
has shared a map with me so that one's theirs but these are the, all the ones I own now and you can keep these you can delete them when you leave a city you can do whatever you want with these and they will stay here in your Google account it's a great way to build not only a map to see where you've been but it's a great way to get through the city and have all the research that you've taken the time to do for places that you want to go check out now I really hope this helps you as you create your map and I would love to see your map so take some screenshots post them to Instagram and tag us or post them on our Facebook page you can also put them in our village and we would love to see places that you've been or maybe even your bucket list oh man that would be great if everybody could make a map and show us your bucket list it might have items on it that I want to go to that maybe I didn't even know I wanted to go to so we would love to see that so thanks for watching I hope this helps you as you go forward and create your own personalized map if you have any questions please post them below if I don't have the answer I'm sure someone in our community does so thanks again for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the road